cookie swirl? See? <laughs> I'm getting so tired. Um, where are my pajamas at? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know where my pajamas are, so I guess I'll just have to make some. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, cookie fans. Make some pajamas. Yes, that's right. We are gonna make some super duper simple, easy DIY pajamas for these brand new LOL OMG dolls. OMG, really? You'll make them for me? Thanks. So I thought it would be super duper fun to create Neonlicious some really awesome pajamas. Ah! Made out of socks! So as you guys remember, I made a sock DIY clothing video before. And now that I have these neon socks, I think they would be absolutely perfect for her too. You know, since she loves neon and all. Neon is the best. So we're gonna make some really cute little cozy pajamas for her. It's gonna be really super duper simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this neon sock right here. These would be super duper cute and cozy to create a cute little pair of sleep shorts out of these. First, we need to take off Neonlicious's shoes. I mean, she is getting getting ready for bed, so we might as well just take them off now. Take off her jacket, and we'll take off her little plastic skirt piece. There we go. Now, she already has a pair of these like cute little neon biker shorts, but they don't look comfortable enough to sleep in. That's why we're gonna make these ones. And honestly, I could do it in any color. I could do it in the neon blue, or I could do it in the hot orange, or in the neon pink. Oh no, the neon green color is gonna be amazing. That's what I thought. This one's gonna be perfect. It's like a really hot lime color. So first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna open up my sock and I'm going to put her inside of it. There we go. And I'm gonna kind of get an idea of exactly where I want to cut the sock. There we go. Looks pretty good. So I'm just going to cut right here for now. Just a little snip so I know where I'm cutting. Now, of course, for my younger cookie fans, you're going to want a parent to help you with any DIY project because you know what? Safety first. I'm going to flip the sock inside out and right where I made my little cut, that is where I'm going to cut across. Ta-da! But we're not done just yet. Now you can see I still have the heel of the sock right here. So I'm going to cut exactly where the heel is all the way down, still keeping the sock inside out. Like that, ta-da! So there is now the start of her little jammy shorts. I'm gonna lay her back on top of them, lining up exactly where I want her waistband. So I'm gonna wrap the sock around her waist here, keeping the waistband right where it should be, right on her waist. And I'm gonna grab the sock and put the two pieces together like that. And then now I'm just going to sew right here, nice and tight, keeping the sock on her. Now I'm gonna use some white thread, but you can use some yellow thread or some green thread. I'm gonna take a little needle here, thread it through. Again, another reminder to my younger cookie fans, always have an adult help you, especially with the sewing. I do not want you to hurt yourself, so have an adult help you with this part. And then keeping the sock pulled tight, just sew it up. And of course, don't forget to tie a knot right at the starting point, right before you get started sewing everything, because you gotta make sure it all stays together. And it might help to keep a little pin right in here, just to keep the fabric together. Whenever I get to the end of the sleep shorts, I'm just going to knot it off. All right, now she's got like this like fishtail at the back of her. So I'm going to cut my strings. And now I'm going to trim as close as I can to the strings, but be careful, do not cut where you just sewed. I'll just take it off of her and cut. All right, we don't need this extra. Okay, now we have a cute skirt piece, but she wanted cute little sleep shorts. So I'm gonna get her dressed again with the little seam that I sewed here on the back. I'm just going to keep that lined up right behind her, looking at this cute skirt piece on her. Now, of course, it's still inside out. This is the more colorful part of the sock here. I'm just going to split her legs a little bit, and now I'm actually going to sew just like this. So I'm going to sew this whole entire part to create her little shorts. So again, make sure you sew all the pieces together. Always want to double knot it. Just to make sure none of your string comes undone. Now once I've gone up one side of the leg, I'm just going to turn it on around and start going down the other side. Once I get to the end, make sure to knot it off. 
just cut the string extra. Okay, she's looking good. So now, as you can see, we've got her little shorts, but they're still sewn together. Very, very, very carefully, I'm going to now trim right next to the little stitch line. Now, you have to be so careful because if you accidentally cut the stitch, then you gotta like go back and re-sew it. So very, very carefully. And it might help if you use a different color thread too. So take your time cutting it and just kind of like cut a little pizza slice out. So here's what they look like. Now, of course, they look a little bit, ah, a little crazy just because they're turned inside out. But once we flip them around on her, which go ahead, let's flip them inside out now. Ah, there we go. Now all of that crazy stitching, look at that, is now nice and neat looking. Now we can get her dressed in them. OMG, you guys, look at how cute those sleep shorts look on her. The fit is totally perfect on her. I especially love this super duper stretchy waistband right here. They just, they look super duper comfortable. <gasps> wow! Those sleepy shorts look so amazing! <sighs> oh, I'm so sleepy, but I would really love to have a really comfortable t-shirt to sleep in. All right, so we can make her that super duper comfortable t-shirt too. Which neon color would you like? Would you like the blue? Would you like the neon pink or the neon orange? Definitely the neon orange. All righty, so we can do that. So now I'm gonna take this sock and turn it into a sleep shirt. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the very tippy top of the sock, right where the toe is, and I'm just going to cut a little piece off just like that. Now I'm going to fit her into the sock, put it right over her head. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now it kind of looks like she's in a sleeping bag a little bit. <gasps> oh, looks like she could totally have a slumber party in this. Sleeping bags would be so cute. But let's, let's still focus on her top. The first thing I'm going to do is tighten up this shirt because as you can see here at her neck, it's just a little bit loose. I'm just going to sew it just a little bit pinch tight like this. You know, you don't wanna do it too tight where you can't get it over her head anymore. So you kinda of wanna give it a little bit of a, a nice laxed fit, just like that. But first, before I do any sewing, flip the sock inside out. That way, all of those stitch lines that we do stay on the inside and nobody sees it. It stays nice and clean on the outside. Put her back into the sock. All right, and now I'm going to just stitch down her shirt. All right, so I wanna keep the shirt pretty long, so I went a little bit past her hands, so it's a little bit longer. This is where I stopped, and then this is where her hands are at right here. So now I'm just gonna tie it off in a knot and trim the extra. Okay, now it totally looks like she is sewn into a sleeping bag. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create her sleeves to her shirt. So I'm just gonna move her arms out like this. And I did remove her hands. That way they just don't get caught and kind of stuck inside of the fabric because her nails are super duper long. She's got a beautiful neon manicure. So I just removed them just to make it a little bit easier. Move her arms out just like this from the shirt. Cut a little area for her arm to come out. So let's cut her little armholes. Cut with the sock here, like that. There we go. So there's one armhole. Stick her arm out. And now, right next to her shirt here, I'm going to sew all the way down to here. And it's actually not even gonna go up too high. So I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna go down. All right, and then I'm just going to knot it off at the bottom to finish up that side and trim. All right, so the only thing that I did was just trim right up here and just go down and just kind of have it fall off the sock a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in to the other side of the arm and do the exact same thing. All right, she has been completely sewn into her new sleep shirt. Now I'm just going to remove it off of her. Now again, very, very, very carefully, right where I sewed, I'm just gonna do a little snip right here just to kind of open this up a little bit. I am being so careful not to cut where I sewed. Do not wanna open that shirt back up. There we go. And I can even trim down that little back piece. Remember that little back piece that I sewed? Trim that down just a little bit. So that way it doesn't look quite like a little shark fin on her. Now I have my shirt and now I'm just going to cut it across a little under where I sewed the line. There we go. Now I'm going to flip this inside out, puff out her little armholes. It may help to use a paintbrush kind of, or a pencil even, pop out the arms. These are small little armholes. There we go, there's one. 
All right, now she's going to put her little sleep shirt on. So now we've got her in her little jammies, but we're just gonna alter this even more by taking my scissors and totally now cutting it and fitting it and chopping it up just a little bit. So I'm thinking that these sleep shorts need to be a little bit shorter here. I mean, it is the summertime right now, so she wants to be nice and comfy. So I'm just gonna take my little shorts just like this, fold them in half so they're even, and cut. There we go. Oh, look at how cute this is. This actually could be like a little sleep dress, but she wanted a sleep shirt. So now we're just going to cut it. So same thing, kind of flatten it out a little bit like that and just take my scissors and cut straight across. Woo! There we go, shortened it up. I'm tired. Neon Mishes, is it, is it time for bed yet? Oh. I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm so sleepy. Yep, I'm ready for bed. Here I come. All right, Cookie Fan. So there we go. There she is in her jammies. Okay, how fast, easy, and simple was that to create these little sleep shorts and this little sleep shirt? You guys, and it's just made out of a sock. Can you believe it? Just a moment ago, this was two socks. So, so crazy, so fun, so easy. You can do this with any doll, like Barbie dolls, Bratz dolls, hair adorables, shoppies anything. Ooh, I'm just so tired. Uh, I, I guess it's time for me to brush my teeth and get ready for bed. Oh, brushing my teeth! That's my favorite part! There's gonna be no cavities for me. Uh, 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 uh. Time to brush my teeth! So where are the toothbrushes and toothpaste? Wait a minute, I thought you had them! Uh-oh, it looks like we're missing the toothbrushes and the toothpaste. Not a problem, we can easily make them. Yep, we're just gonna use a little bit of some air dry clay, my favorite thing. So I'm just going to take a little teeny tiny pinch and it's so easy to make a toothbrush out of clay. All you need is just a tiny little pinch like this. Just kind of roll it out with your finger. So it almost looks like you're creating a pencil, but we don't need it to be this long. So I'm gonna break some of it off. So now I'm just gonna roll it so the toothbrush handle is a little bit thinner than the top piece here. So if you look at this, it kind of looks like a snake. So the head of the snake or AKA the toothbrush is a little bit thicker than this part here. By holding it down on the ground. Now I'm gonna push my toothbrush with my finger just to kind of bunch it up a little bit. So I'm just bunching it with my finger. Now I'm gonna take another little teeny tiny pinch of clay, roll it into a ball, flatten it with my finger and place it right on top like that. Then I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just going to create little tiny marks to create the bristles. There we go, we've got one toothbrush. Cookie, can you make one for me too? But a little bit smaller. Of course I can. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the LOL, except for I'm gonna make her toothbrush just a teeny tiny bit smaller than the OMG doll. So there's about my size, but I'm just going to shorten it up. That way it's easier for her to hang on to. Here we go, here we go. Place it right next to the OMGs and just kind of smush it a little bit with my finger there just to create a little bunch. Take a teeny tiny little pinch for the bristles like the tiniest amount, roll it and place it. And now back with my pencil, just poke a few little random holes just so it looks like little bristles. All right, there we go. Now we've got her teeny tiny miniature size toothbrush. And of course we're gonna need toothpaste too. Of course we're gonna need some toothpaste. So now I've got a little tiny pinch of clay. So I'm gonna take that tiny little pinch and I'm gonna roll it into a ball, putting some pressure more at the bottom of it. So I'm kind of getting a shape like this and start flattening it out. It's kind of a teardrop shape and then I'm just going to press it a little bit. Press and kind of mushle it out so it kind of gets a little bit longer and then flatten the bottom. There we go. And then now I've got like a little piece like this. Even round out the top just a little bit by just pressing your finger on it. Take another teeny tiny piece of clay and roll it into a little ball so it's not a complete circle. Press to flatten the top and the bottom. So now I've got a little tiny cap that kind of looks like that. Now I'm going to take Take my pencil and just right at the top, I'm just gonna create a little tiny, tiny imprint right on the top, right in the middle, just like that. So it's so, so small. So here are my four pieces. Now I'm gonna go in with a little teeny tiny pen. Now, of course, for my younger cookie fans, always have an adult help you. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. I'm just going to take my little cap and put teeny tiny little indents in it by just using the 
little pin tip, tiny little indents, and then I'm gonna take my toothpaste and I'm actually gonna do like a little indent line right at the bottom, kind of flatten it a little bit, kind of like they've been using the toothpaste a little bit. Draw like a little line on both sides, keeping that bottom nice and straight. And then of course, now do my little, little lines too. But of course you don't have to do this detail, it's just a little tiny extra detail you can do to your toothpaste. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna let all four of these pieces dry completely. All right, now once everything dries overnight, so I'm just gonna take a tiny little dot of tacky glue on a toothpick and we're just gonna glue the lid right on. Do, 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 do. There we go. And now let that dry. Now I'm gonna go in with some Mod Podge and seal in all of my clay pieces. All right, now is the fun part, which is the painting, and check out this. Look at how hot, bright, and neon this paint is. All right, you two, what color do you guys want your brushes? Go ahead, pick a color, any color you want. I want uh, the hot pink. All right, so we got the hot pink for her. Ooh, that color is hot. So on her teeny tiny little toothbrush, look at that. Oh, I love this color. Neon is the best. All right, Neonlicious, what color would you like your neon toothbrush? Hmm, um, this one. Ooh, good choice. She's going in with the hot, bright neon orange. We'll paint her toothbrush exactly that. Woo, somebody go get the sunglasses because it is super duper neon in here. It just got so bright. Then I'll go in with the neon yellow and paint that the toothpaste color. Then I can go in with a little tiny touch of some Mod Podge and just go ahead and seal all that color in. Oh, what, what? Oh, I'm getting so sleepy. Perfect timing, it's time to brush our teeth. Then we can get into bed. Oh good, time to brush teeth. Whew, I almost fell asleep without brushing my teeth. Oh, that would have been bad. Then all the tooth germs would have taken over my mouth. Um. Uh, where's, where's my toothbrush? Neon Licious? Do you see my toothbrush? <gasps> is my toothbrush gone? Your toothbrush is just in the drawer. There it is. On oh, the toothpaste must be in this drawer. I found it! All right, now that we made their toothbrushes, now they can brush their teeth and go to bed. So here we go, this one's for Neon Licious. And the little itty bitty one is for Neon Cutie. All right, time to brush my teeth. Oh, wait a minute, don't forget about the toothpaste. We need the toothpaste in here. Put a little bit of some toothpaste on here. And mine too, please. Squeeze some on. And brush. There we go, now check it out. Their teeth are nice and sparkly and clean. <sighs> well, I'm sleepy. I'm going to bed. Ah, me too. Woo, all right, Cookie fans. Well, I'm gonna go brush my teeth, hop into bed, and then I will see you tomorrow morning for another super duper fun video. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bye, Cookie fans.